Hello, in this Ionic video tutorial, we're going to look at the radio button list CSS component. Very simple stuff. A radio button lets the user select one option out of a set of options, whether that's a list or whether that's some other form of displaying it. Unlike a checkbox or a toggle button that allows you to well turn them on and off independently of each other. This is dependent one of the only one can be on at any given time. So it's a great way of providing the user with a choice, but the choice can own only one of the choices can be chosen. So it's almost like a path. So to do it, very simple stuff, just put iron dash list. You can use an unordered list and list items as well if you want to. In all fairness, a lot of pretty much everything in Ionic, the CSS components are very flexible. Chances are if you're doing this video series or you're doing Ionic, I'm just gonna take a moment to talk here a second. If you're doing this, you, you're probably pretty well versed with web development. And as a result, you probably know a lot of web elements. I mean like the ele elements such as div, unordered list, image tags, that sort of stuff. And when you're using Ionic and if you see something like Ion dash list and you see what it looks like, chances are you can look at it and think, ah, oh, that looks like, well, an unordered list. And the Ion radio sort of looks like a list item. And pretty much all the time, if you notice that and if you were to swap it over for what you would usually use, it'll work pretty much the same so that's actually worth doing that's a great way of learning and seeing how they work and see seeing what lines up with everything else so let's get back to it so what i was doing is just putting a radio in here and in here i'm just gonna put one not very creative today so i'm just gonna copy and paste that i'm gonna call this two three and that's be 3.14159 so just pi two five different places save that build our project run our project so here we go we've got our list and if I click on one of these let's say I click on two it selects it but what happens if I click on three it deselects two and select three. Same with if I click on 3.14159. Same if I click on one. If I keep clicking the same one, it's just essentially selecting that same one again. So it just stays selected. So that's it for radio button lists. Very short tutorial because there's not much more to it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link in the description alongside that. There'll be another link to our GitHub page, which will have the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.